going on Irish fans welcome back to another game preview this one's gonna be Notre Dame UNC uh, this one is coming after a really embarrassing loss to Duke yesterday probably the worst game I've seen this team play well this collective group of guys play one of the worst games under Mike Bray's tenure just embarrassing the guards were turning the ball over couldn't hit shots. Rex, Dane, and Gibbs combined went one for 20. Rex and TJ didn't score. It was just really bad. Prentice Hub had an awful game. The only guys, the only bright spots were Mooney and um, Durham and Elijah Morgan who came in at the end of the game. But the good news is UNC uh, isn't that great of a team. Their record definitely looks worse than they actually are. Um, I don't think they're that bad. I think they're on, what, a five-game losing streak. Um, this game looks easy, but uh, definitely not going to be easy, especially if we play the way we played on Saturday. If we play that way, I don't think we can beat any team in the ACC, um, especially if our guards are doing that. Um, so, yeah, my offensive keys going to be play through John Mooney and Juwan Durham. That was literally the only thing that sort of worked. Um, there was a time in the game early on where there were a lot of open threes because of Jawan Durham um, and because of Mooney down low. Um, congrats to Jawan Durham on 21 points. My second key is going to be guards need to be smarter with the ball. Um, there were multiple times where you saw Dane on the fast break rush, shoot a bad shot. Um, you saw Hub just do what Hub has done in the, for the last like five or six games, dribble into traps, turn the ball over. You saw TJ do the same thing, and you saw Rex uh, dribble too much. He had a really, really bad turnover early um, where he was just dribbling and he couldn't get past the guy. Um, and then the third key, which is something they did a lot of, is don't rush shots. Um, just really poor decision making on those fast breaks by Dane. It was Dane especially. Never set his feet on threes. He was always fading something, and when he wasn't fading, they were going in. Gibbs did this a lot. He um, he was f doing floaters and stuff over like four guys. On some of them, I thought he drew contact, but they didn't call anything. Um, at least. Rex, even with the zero points, he didn't cost us too many of possessions because of his bad uh, decision-making. He always gets set for a shot. Um, my matchup to watch, is, or my leading scorer, is going to be John Mooney. I can't really trust anybody else at this point. Um, a lot of the games I'll say hub, but Cole Anthony is a really good on-ball defender. Um, yeah, TJ has been really disappointing lately. Can't ever say Rex is the leading scorer because that's not his game. Um, maybe Durham, I could say. Um, but UNC has freshman uh, centers and power forwards, so I would think Mooney can um, maybe take advantage of that, get some nice post-ups on Armando Baycott. Um, so yeah, my matchup to watch is going to be Cole Anthony versus the guards. Cole Anthony is pretty much their only like, super impactful player because Brandon Robinson, who's I think their third or second leading scorer, he's um, averaging 13 points per game when he plays. He's out. Um, they have a couple other guys out. Nobody like huge. And um, my god, a loose sleepover is Cole Anthony. Averaging 19 points a game. How many? He's, he's averaging 19 points. Wait, where, where is? I can't find him. Um, geez, 19 points, six rebounds, three assists. Um, he had 34 on us the first the first game we played him. We probably would have won that game without him. Um, that was the one game UNC looked good in the entire year, um, and he's really good. I think we need to put an emphasis on him. Um, probably be a top five pick. Uh, him or Lamelo will be the first point guard taken. Um, he can do it all. He's a good on-ball defender, off-ball defender. He can get in passing lanes. 
Um, he's really good at driving. He has a little bit of a shot. Um, he's had really bad luck with injuries, but I think um, I think he might torch us, especially with our guard play lately. I think he can probably do whatever he wants. Um, so now, defensive keys, make sure or my first defensive key is uh, let anybody but Cole Anthony beat you. That's the key to beating North Carolina. If Cole Anthony doesn't do well, nobody's going to do well. Um, they do have somebody else in uh, double digits. I think it's Garrison Brooks. Um, but if Cole Anthony doesn't score at least 20, there's no way they're beating us. Um, my second, well, I, would, I shouldn't say no way, but second key is let, don't let them get out in transition. They're pretty good at getting passing lanes. Um, and their offense isn't great to begin with. So we just need to limit transition points, easy points. Um, and then lastly, don't let um, Garrison Brooks and Armando Baycott um, get too many post-ups because they're both really good passers out of the post. They can both score a little bit out of there too. Um, so I don't want them going crazy in there. And then my prediction, I just can't predict a win with this team right now. Too ineffective guard play. Um, Mooney and Durham, I don't think, can carry us to a win against this team. They're pretty solid all around, even though their record doesn't show that. Um, they've been in games against really good teams. They beat us the first time. Um, so I'm going to say UNC 65-60. I just can't see where the scoring is going to come from for this game. Uh, I would love them to prove me wrong. If they win this game, I, I guess we still have a chance. Um, it's going to be tough. But after this, after this game, I'm going to do like a season outlook thing because I believe they have like a one-week break where I'll talk about um, like our tournament chances. Um, I'll talk about maybe each individual player. Let me know if you guys want that. Um, thanks for watching. Go Irish. Uh, let's get a big win. UNC tomorrow. I believe it's on ESPN. So watch it if you can. Thanks for watching. Peace.